Bonjour, Kinemagian in the Ireland Edition Cast, and welcome to this production of the My Math Network. Today's topic from Chapter 4, Lesson 6 Problem Solving. Solve a simpler problem. Our essential question, what strategies can I use to divide by a two-digit divisor? You'll begin today with packet page 283. So if you need to pause the video to go get that packet, that's labeled lesson six, problem solving investigation, feel free to pause the video. If not, well, let's continue forward. And we're gonna begin right on the page at learning the strategy. In our first problem, as Miguel earns $50 each week. He spends $10 each week and saves the remaining amount. How many weeks will it take until he has saved more than $300? So what facts do we know? We know that he's earning $50 per week, but he's spending 10. And what are we trying to find out? How many weeks will it take until he has saved more than $300? Make sure you're writing these in as always. If you need to to slow down for a second, feel free to pause the video while you write, and then always be able to unpause the video and continue forward when you're ready. All right, let's go to the next step. And the plan on every one of these today is I can solve the problem by solving a simpler problem. I might just paraphrase this as solve a simpler problem because I don't like writing a lot. And especially when I'm trying to do in the middle of a math problem. So I will extend that courtesy to you. Our next step will be to solve. You may have stopped to think and said, wait a minute, I remember these steps. Understand, plan, solve, and check. Yes, because those steps follow us. So we're going to go ahead and solve. And they're giving you a lot of clues. How much did he save? Well, 50 minus 10, because he decided he needed to go blow $10, and this could have been a lot faster. We know that he's going to save $40 a week. Then he's going to divide 300 by 40. And once he got down to it, he had seven remainder 20. And this is where that lesson on interpreting the remainder plays in a role, because at seven weeks, he was short. He had failed to save $300. But on week eight, ta-da, we have reached the promised land of $300. Make sure you have the 40 and the eight written in there. And the check status, we know it's gonna work, but yes, is it reasonable? Because 40 times eight is 320, and 320 is greater than 300. Once you have finished writing this in, we'll be turning the page to 284. And we have a new problem. Melissa estimates that she watched 104 movies over the past year. On average, about how many movies does she watch per month? Hint, one year is 52 weeks. So what do we know? Let's get the bigger one here, just as the highlighter. 104 movies over the year. And we want to find out how many movies does she watch per month. That hint kind of goes into the facts we know and help but particularly at the solving stage. So you're going to want to write the yellow on this line and the pink down here. If you need to pause the video to do that, feel free. And I'm going to be so gracious to you because I'm in a giving mood. That's the motivation today. I'll leave that for you.
All right, let's move on to step two, planning. And what did I say the plan was? Solve a simpler problem. You might just want to write that somewhere. Solve a simpler problem. What's the plan? Solve a simpler problem. What's the plan? Solve a simpler problem. You in the back, what's the plan? Solve a simpler problem. All day, all this lesson, solve a simpler problem. You know you want to sing it. Yep, I heard you. Solve a simpler problem. Solve a simpler problem. All right, let's move on. So we need to solve it. So what are we going to divide? Well, how many movies per week is she doing? 104 divided by 52. You might realize that 52 times 2 is 104. So we know that she's watching two movies per week. Well, how many weeks are in a month? On average, about four. No, we're not going to do decimals and do four and a half. Sorry. Take that right back up the block. Not today. And we will find out that she's watching about eight movies per month. So you're like, Mr. I, I don't want to write all this. Good. Neither do I. I don't want you to. You're going to write this part. Maybe a little neater here. Let's go ahead and grab that cool tool. So write that part and write this part down. I feel like green and pink. Is it almost seasonal colors? Maybe not. If you need to pause the video, feel free to do that. Otherwise, I'll give you another 20 seconds. Fish it. Yeesh. This way. Non good well sway. Gone sway. Adas away. Adas away should be. Adas away should eat. Sweet. Good well sway. All right, Nishtana. Let's move on. And of course, is the answer reasonable? Oh, uh, yeah. Because like I said it was. 8 times 12 is 96, and 96 is pretty close to 104. Now I'm going to give you a few problems. On these problems, I will help initially with starting it off, but I'm gonna let you do the math because you guys are so great at math. I don't wanna take that away from you. So the first one, Mr. Santiago has a flight from New York to Paris that covers a distance of 3,640 miles in seven hours. If the plane travels at the same speed per hour, how many miles would have traveled after four hours. So what do we know? How fast it goes in seven hours. And what are we trying to find out? How many miles will have traveled after four hours? If you're like Mr. I, that sounds like two problems. You're right, it is. Go ahead and pause the video, do those two problems and come back and see me when you're done. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's go ahead and clear my drawings there as I was excitedly working on these two problems. And if you had the answer of 2,080 miles, you were right. How did we get to this? Once we divided 3640 by 7, you ended up with 520 miles per hour. Then you multiply 520 times 4, you got 2,080. And did you have to write miles? Yes. Yes, you did. Because I want to make sure you're talking about miles and not kilometers, meters, or inches. It makes a big difference. It's 2,080 inches. Not really that far. 2,080 miles, a little bit longer walk. Or in this case, flight. All right, let's go to the next problem. Josh watches 720 television shows in one year. If he watches the same number of shows each month, how many shows does he watch in five months? And let's just first wonder, why isn't he just using his time to read a good book? But I digress. Let's get my tools back here. What do we know? Josh watches a lot of television, 720 shows a year. What are we trying to find out? How many shows does he watch in five months? So my giving to you is kind of giving you 
you know, the what we know and what we're trying to find out. So go ahead, pause the video and solve it. And I'll come back and see how you did. Welcome back. Let me clear those drawings for us. And the answer, 300 shows. If you got that, you likely divided 720 by 12, which gave you a quotient of 60. That was 60 shows in a month. Times five months, 60 times five, 300. 300 shows. So yes, a lot of times a day you might be solving multiple problems. Let's bounce ahead a little bit here. Let's give you problem number eight. Mr. Reyes baked four batches of muffins for his class. That sounds kind of good right now. Why would I have to pick the uh, story problem that involves us having a little early food? Each batch had 12 muffins. If Mr. Reyes has 24 students, how many muffins will each student receive? All right, go ahead, solve the video. Solve the question in the video. Maybe grab a muffin on your way and then come back and see how you did. Welcome back. Let's see what you got. Each student receives two muffins. Four times 12 is 48. 24 goes into 48 twice. So each student got two muffins. How many of you, and don't lie, just went and had, to, had a muffin? Or at least requested that somebody make you some muffins. I did. Unfortunately, they told me to make my own muffins. Sad face. All right, we're ready now to give you the assignment. And if you're doing the paper copy, make sure that you send it back to me at the next paper exchange. You could do the Google form within the Google Classroom, but if you're solving it using this paper, feel free to still send the paper back, even if you're submitting it using the Google form. And you see, there's only five problems today. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me at mirland at psychchipschool.net visit us in office hours and the best thing you can do is attend class on a regular basis that way i can answer your questions live in real time oh all of you have a minogijigad bama pee